Hey loves, Jay here with your weekly reading. I'm going to try something a little different here today um, for your reading. So let me know if you like this in the comment section below. If you're a Pisces or you have Pisces anywhere in your natal chart, I do have a bonus channel for you. I will link um, up top and I will also put that in the description box below. All right, so I'm going to pull one card for each zodiac starting from Aries, finishing off with Pisces to see what is going on in your week coming up for April 15th through the 22nd. So let's get started here. All right, from Aries to Pisces. All right. Message for Aries, please. Oh, oh. Aries, you could be traveling during this week with the Eight of Wands. You could be receiving some information or some communication or a message or something uh, digitally. So via social media, email, text message. Um, I'm hearing someone, I'm hearing somebody hitting you up, okay? If somebody's hitting you up for something, I don't know what, but um, there is some communication that is coming in for you during this week, all right? Taurus. We have the Prince of Cups. Some of you may be dealing with a Pisces here. So you're going to be focused on love during this week. Okay. Maybe even focused on your um, artistic traits and doing a little bit of introspection um, this week. Um, really focus on your creativity. Okay. Creativity and love. And maybe you, some of you may even be beautifying your home or getting a makeover for yourself. But I do feel like you're focused on um the art of life during this week, really tapping into that energy and creating a sense of love and beauty around you and feeling a sense of peacefulness within your space. Okay, so this could also be someone could be coming into your life here, a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio that can be charming you in some way, taking you out on dates or, you know, sending you little love nut things. But I do feel someone is sharing their love with you in some sort of way here, Taurus. Okay, Gemini. Seven of Swords, your energy here, as well as Libra and um, Aquarius, okay? So someone might be, you might be doing something sneaky, trying to get away with something during this week. Um, so I don't know if there's some sort of communication that could be coming in for you or you're doing some sort of communication, but I do feel like whatever, whatever is, whatever this is you're trying to sneak around and do, this could be revealed or maybe even kept in the dark. I'm not sure how that's going to show up for you, but I'm definitely feeling like there could be some, <laughs> some trickery or something that is some secrets revealed or whatever, or you could be um, betraying someone or someone could be betraying you, but whatever this is, it is a feeling of self-interest, but this could also show up as manip manipulation as well. Okay. So, um, I don't know if you're you're trying to be tricky so that you can get some answers that you like because I'm feeling this energy from this is like you're not stupid here Gemini whatever you're doing you know exactly what you're doing to get what you want okay so that energy is coming up for you all right cancer we have the two of wands Aries Leo Sagittarius could be energy in your chart or you could be dealing with someone um, but I, I I'm feeling this I'm feeling this sense of you planning out something, Cancer, because um, you're trying to make progress in some sort of way. So there's a decision that you want to make. I feel like you're discovering aspects of yourself, but you may be going somewhere. Some of you are traveling, taking a little vacation. Some of you, some of you are going somewhere with a new boo as well, as well, the fire sign. Make sure you check out the Cancer reading for April 15th through May 15th because we, we are talking about a new person that's in your life after discovering um, that you didn't want to be in something else with someone else, okay? So a lot's going on for you during this week, Cancer, decisions to be made. But at the end of the day, I do feel like you're caring for yourself during this week. And uh, I feel like you're you're stepping into something new. And I feel like you're happy about whatever decision that may be for you. Leo, we have the Emperor. Aries energy here. A lot of fiery energy here com uh, combined with yours. Um, I'm also feeling from this too, could be a little bit of travel coming up for you as well. But there's a, an element of stepping into your power. I do feel like some, someone is going to, you're going to either reveal something 
or show something like I feel like you're you're exposing yourself in a way and I don't want to say expose in a bad way but I feel like there's another layer to you that you may be sharing with the world or sharing with your family and your friends um, and it, it definitely feels like a vulnerable moment but I feel like it's an I feel like you're ready to share something with someone okay it's not because you're forced because the Emperor is someone who is very powerful I definitely feel like you're at this place where you're like I'm gonna share something I'm gonna I'm gonna um, so some of you have a, a platform that you're working from this is a great week to um, really get visible okay and share your knowledge share your wisdom whatever this product service it doesn't matter because there is an opportunity for you to take this to another level okay Virgo Prince of Pentacles here your energy as well as Taurus and Capricorn you're definitely moving towards something there could be a financial opportunity that could be coming in for you prosperity is on the horizon I do feel like you are um, smoothing things out I feel like you're not um, you're in this place where you don't there's not a lot of worry I'm seeing around you you're very focused this week and um, said setting forth in whatever this is that um, you are putting your mind to okay um, for some of you there has been um, a windy road it's been a windy road to something but I feel like you have clarity around something this week and you're gonna invest into something okay so some of you may be investing financially you may be investing time and effort into something but I do feel like you're open you're ready and you're ready to just you're ready for it to take off okay so I'm, I am feeling a successful weekend coming up for you I mean week coming up for you when it comes to an opportunity or um, expanding your money or getting more clarity or doing more research around a, uh, a project or something like that okay Libra we have princess of wands so we have uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy here so there's this uh, this is a very I'm feeling passionate creative energy that is coming up for you um, during this week so you may find yourself wanting to be solo I'm feeling um, and to really explore some some things about yourself some of you have gone through some ups and downs most recently and I feel like there has been a lot that has been on your plate so you may decide to um, I don't even feel like it's the whole week but I do feel like you may take like a day or two to um, take some time take some time for you okay that's what this feels like um, for me with this uh, with the princess of wands so I, I do feel like you are trying to get in a space where you you want to feel more free spirited and excited about life I mean, I just feel like you just need a little bit of freedom okay and some of you are needing free time me time free time me time is what I'm hearing for some of you but I do feel like it is because you need to either get something done you need to explore something about yourself you need to make a decision about what it is that you're gonna do next whatever this is it's gonna be beneficial to you okay Scorpio we have the moon Pisces energy here so you could be dealing with the Pisces or have this in your chart some of you are withdrawing from something or there's some fears that may be coming up for you during this week that are going to going to be coming to light going to be revealed I'm also hearing you're going to be seeing something about yourself that you've never seen before or um, you're coming to a conclusion about something about you know who you are this is just who you are <laughs> Scorpio you like take me or leave me you know it's 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 up to you but I definitely feel like something is going to be revealed when it comes to either a relationship or the relationship that you have with yourself or just something that you are seeing about yourself that you never really paid attention to before there's going to be some light shine on that and I don't know if it's because someone could be revealing something to you telling you something about yourself but I don't feel like it's a challenge because I feel like you may be open to this um, you you know defensiveness could come up for you you know some people don't like being told about who they are but I do feel like it's um it's a sense of you feeling this about yourself but this could also be someone else telling you about yourself during this week so something is definitely coming to light and I feel like it is part of your growth here Scorpio okay so do not fear whatever that is Sagittarius six of swords this week you're going to be moving on from something Aquarius Libra Gemini energy going to be moving on from thoughts 
feelings from a person, whatever this is, but I do feel like you're feeling hopeful this week. There's going to be a little bit of change and you're going to be releasing some things, releasing people, leaving things behind. Like I said, travel could even be coming up for some of you as well. Um, but I feel like you're going to be moving through some feelings of uncertainty, like you're going to be receiving the clarity that you've been needing to move past the situation or a thought or an emotion. You're going to be recovering from um, whatever challenging times you have been experiencing. And Spirit is also asking you to rest rest this week so you can revitalize your energy, energy and surround yourself with good people, joyful friends, people who celebrate you, not tolerate you, okay? Capricorn, Prince of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, whether that's in your chart or you're dealing with someone. I thought I saw the Prince of Wands before. I guess that was the Prince of all the other princes are here, I guess. So this Prince of Wands energy is um, your, I feel like you're going to be feeling like a different energy during this week. Your Capricorn. You're going to be feeling fiery, intense, more enthusiastic about something. Okay, so you're discovering something here. Um, but I do feel like this week you're wanting some freedom. What was that? The Princess of Wands we talked about. Um, that was the Princess of Wands where I was saying uh, for Libra that you want freedom. And I'm feeling the same way for um, for you, Capricorn. You wanted some freedom, some freedom, some free time. Okay. There are some desires that you want to act upon, and I feel like you're fueled to do it. So some of you might find yourself making um, impulsive decisions about something. And just make sure that it is for your highest good, okay? So that you're not just, you know, think think before you take this action, okay? Because some of you can just decide to take the leap. You're feeling the energy, and you're just like, I'm going to do it, okay? If you feel in your gut that it's right for you, Capricorn, then go ahead. Do what you got to do. All right. Aquarius, during this week, Four of Wands, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here, whether you're dealing with someone or this is in your chart. Um, Aquarius, I do feel like you are going to be reconnecting someone with someone, rekindling something. This could be your current relationship or um, reuniting with friends and celebrating life in some sort of way. But I do feel like this week is a week of love, a, a week of um reigniting is what I'm hearing, reigniting a flame or chemistry or something, okay? So whoever this is that you are dealing with here, sounds like a week of love. <laughs> Make sure you wear a glove, okay? <laughs> so Aquarius, fun time celebration that is coming up for you during this week. And Pisces, Ten of Swords, what? All right, so Ten of Swords here, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, where I feel like you are overcoming something. It feels like you, there has been uh, painful endings to something, deep wounds that have come up where you have been betrayed, backstabbed, have felt lost. You're trying to remove these old patterns. I do feel like a very spiritual uh, energy coming over me with this card because it feels like a lesson learned and now you're able to get yourself up, brush your shoulders off, and walk away from it. Okay, so uh, all of the things that you have currently experienced. I feel like this week you are going to be taking those swords off your back. You're going to be letting those go. You're not putting it behind you anymore. You're just letting it go. You're healing from it and you're going to get up. Okay. You're going to get up and walk away from whatever has felt devastating because this is definitely a rebirthing period. So you're going to be um, grieving your old your old self. Okay. For, for the times that you have hit red, red, rock bottom, have been backstabbed and all of those things, destruction has taken place. I do feel like you're going to be moving past that this week. So you may feel a sense of renewal in your energy, which is a beautiful thing after everything that you've been through. So be gentle with yourself is what Spirit is saying here, Pisces. Okay, so that is your reading for the week, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you like this weekly spread and we can get this going for you, okay? Take care. Enjoy your week. I'll see you guys very soon. Make sure you also check out your monthly reading. And if you are have Pisces anywhere in your chart, check out my Pisces only channel, all right? Bonus channel. Love you guys. Take care. Many blessings. Love and light. Peace.